New voter registration is surging in the wake of President Biden dropping out of the race. Both Republicans and Democrats are trying to use the renewed energy for the election in their favor. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell looking into those numbers for us. Savannah, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. We see that more than 100,000 people had decided to register to vote for the first time in just the first week since we saw uh, President Biden drop out of that race. When it comes to the age of these voters, about 85% of them are younger than 35. Now, political experts say that young voters since 2004 have trended to vote more Democratic. However, lately, younger women are voting more blue while their male counterparts are voting more red. It's part of the reason why UNC Charlotte political science professor Dr. Eric Herberlig says that gender divide may have more impact than the age divide. We'll have to see whether um, whether the shift to Kamala Harris rather than Joe Biden affects um, that uh, that gender uh, division in, in younger voters this time. Uh, if that division stays, uh, just having a higher turnout among younger voters won't necessarily uh, benefit the Democrats as much as they might hope or expect. So that 100,000 uh, number, that is from vote.org, looking at it nationally. I reviewed the North Carolina State Board of Election data on voter registration for the past two weeks. I found that more than 6,500 people in the state became potential first-time voters since July 20th. More than half of those people registered as unaffiliated. Of the remaining, Republicans gained about twice as many new voters as Democrats.